Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and we are currently looking at myself on the back of my humble narrowboat home Tilly putting my kayak overboard and I'm about to step hopefully safely directly off the boat into the kayak and this is how I get in and out of the kayak not needing to ever step on dry land which means that normally when I do me the trips on the kayak that go for miles up and down the canal I literally don't even have anything as fancy as a pair of shoes with me so anyway that's the quick in and out process just for anybody who is interested let's cut to a little bit of me talking to the camera and then enjoy some proper narrowboat scenery so here's an extreme close-up for you very unfortunate people and as usual, there's so much of this scenery that I would love to show you. And you can see in the background, or hopefully if I can angle the kayak just right, you can see we've got Sparks Bridge just crossing over in the background there. And that I will post to the random picture in the video now. It's where I had to go to get internet signal last night. Tilly is just moored up just ahead of me at the moment. And these are, as I always say, the little tiny moments and again I'm waiting for my friends to come out there visiting Whitchurch so I'm going to meet them not too far up at Whitchurch Marina and we'll have a drive around and so I thought well I've got about maybe an hour, hour and a half waiting for them to arrive might as well just get out on the kayak and of course just being able to stick a camera on the tripod thought might as well do a little bit of filming and I think I'm just going to go a couple of times up and down this little stretch here there's a load of boats moored up just by some of the lift bridges just ahead that direction. And really, as I often say, with no particular plan, just generally I think, right, I want to get these videos done this week, I want to do this on the boat, that on the boat this week, but I don't have a particular order or day set right then. This is when this has got to be done. And by doing that, I give myself the free time for these random moments which I am currently dazzling the camera with. Um, but equally, it also means I never ever get anything done and there's always a ton of jobs to do. So every now and then I have a proper busy week where I actually get things sorted. But yeah, anyway, I'm just rabbiting on about nothing. Let's enjoy some proper canal scenery. If I just point the camera that way, you can hopefully just see Tilly down the way there. In fact, let's go up that way and just go past her and have a look at some of the boats up to the lift bridge. With no ultimate goal in mind, it's nice just to float around on the kayak. When I have my winter mooring periods over the, well, obviously winter months as the name would suggest, I really like just going around the Cheek area and over the aqueducts. And it's a beautiful thing to be able to hop in the canal in the evenings. It starts to get dark really early between four and five o'clock at the darkest points. So just going out maybe around four o'clock in the evening and there might be a chill in the air and you might have the sky starting to go all the different sunset colours. It's just fantastic to be able to do exactly this sort of thing, just milling around, not really pushing it, not going, right, let's force our way as fast as we can, as far as we can and back before it gets dark. Just literally enjoying being on the canal and being this low in the water. I finally realised that I could just put the camera on a tripod in the actual part that you sit in as we move up past some of the um, moored up boats here uh, and this gives you much more of my eye view of the kayak this camera angle here and this is how low down in the water you are this is how low you feel and it's particularly nice as some of you may have seen in my little documentary episode the uh, second episode of Dan's Now About Life I was using the kayak to pick blackberries off the far bank and it's just fantastic to be that low to the waterline and you hear all sorts of rustling and every now and then get a glimpse of a moorhen here or there that you'd never see on the boat. This is one of the lift bridges here. It always um, strikes me as odd that they have these stop signs on them on these two here because I think that stopping uh, a bridge that is literally obstructing the canal is an absolute given. But then again, I suppose you never know. As we come back to Sparks Bridge, I'll just say I thought I'd share just another random little moment with you. People seem to have enjoyed the idea of me posting a few more shorter videos just to drop in random moments of boat life like this. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this very quick look and very quick look at life on the kayak as well as the real boat. Until the next time, as always, subscribe and check out my videos for tons of proper long boat videos and hopefully useful videos about how to work a lift bridge as you've just seen, for example. And of course, like the Facebook page. Feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter for pictures and general updates from life on the canal. And check out my books for the Kindle, The Narrowboat Lad, or the latest one, A Narrowboat in a Notebook. Until the next time, have a fantastic day, keep it kayaking, and farewell.